Well, a more difficult case is where Q, the polynomial by which we divide, has multiple equal linear factors. And uh, the most general expression then is as follows. Qx equals a1x plus b1 to, the, to some power. Yeah, so a1x plus b1 to some power. And uh, each linear term appears with some power at uh, some power so the general method here is that we try to write rx divided by qx and we start off with the constant divided by a linear term the first one and we add a second constant related to the same linear term only squared etc Yes, and we keep summing those until AR1, which is the final constant, divided by the linear term A1x plus B1 to the power R1. And uh, then we add a similar sequence of fractions or rational functions um, with respect to the second term, A2x plus B. 2 to the power r2, etc. So, consider the following example. We have 4x divided by x to the power 3 minus x squared minus x plus 1. And uh, see that, notice that we may factorize the denominator by x minus 1 squared times x plus 1. So, x minus 1 is a linear term which appears two times. So what we're going to try is the following expression. So we try to find constants a, b, and c such that we write, can write the rational function as a divided by x minus 1 plus b divided by x minus 1 to the power 2 plus c divided by x plus 1. So this is a different linear term. Well. Well, by working back in the, just as in the case of, in case one, the example we gave in case one, um, we are able to find the constants a, b, and c. Well, we won't do this here. We'll, we'll see more example of, uh, of this procedure. But we find, doing this, we find constants a equals one, b equals two, and c equals minus one. So then we, if we try, to find a primitive of this rational function, then the primitive is the same as the primitive over the three pieces on the right hand side. So we get a primitive of 1 over x minus 1 plus 2 divided by x minus 1 squared minus 1 divided by x plus 1. Yeah, and now maybe you see where we are going to since each of these functions has an elegant primitive. So the primitive of 1 divided by x minus 1 is the ln of the absolute value of x minus 1. And also higher powers of the linear term are easily integrated. So plus 2 divided by x minus 1 squared has as primitive minus 2 divided by x minus 1. And the final term minus 1 over x plus 1 has as a primitive minus ln the absolute value of x plus 1. And don't forget the integration constant over here. Again, we, I, I will not show it, but um, case 2 can be solved always in this fashion.